and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be another Dollar Tree haul. Yes, I know, I just recently did a Dollar Tree haul on a few things, although that haul wasn't like too big, but I just did a Dollar Tree haul and I ended up going back because I needed a few more things. There is a Valentine's DIY that I want to do and I needed something for that. And then I also needed some more bathroom cups for the kids' bathroom. And then of course, I ended up picking up a few other things. So I thought, why not share with you guys, again, what I purchased from Dollar Tree, because I know you guys really love when I do these hauls. So let's just jump right in to my Dollar Tree haul. I'll show you guys everything that I purchased this time around. Okay, so in this first bag, I ended up getting some more flowers, just because like I said, I am gonna be doing more than one Dollar Tree um, Valentine's DIY. And I needed some more white roses for that um, DIY. So I picked up four more of these white roses for the other Valentine's DIY that I would like to do. And then I found this and I just thought that it was really pretty. I loved the way it like draped down. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name, but that is the name of it. I just thought that purple color is like a lilac purple color. I thought it was so pretty. So I grabbed that and I can just put it in one of like my vases. I don't know where I'll put that, but I just thought it was super pretty. So I grabbed that and that is all that was in the first bag. And then in the second bag, I have a bunch of stuff for the kids. So I needed to get the kids some more of these bathroom cups. So if you don't know, Dollar Tree has these bathroom cups that you can put in the kids' bathrooms. They have also, I think Disney princess ones, but I decided to get the frozen ones. And then I also got some Mickey Mouse um, cups as well. And they both come with 36 cups, which I think is a good deal for a dollar. So I got two packs of those. And then for Ryan's school lunches, I like to get these Ziploc bags for him. I do use containers, but I also like to use these Ziploc bags just because they're super cute. And this one is a snack bag, so it's a really small um, bag. You can just put like some snacks in, like pretzels or something. And then these are more like sandwich bags, and these are Mickey Mouse ones. And then I also bought some Princess Disney ones, and then these are obviously for Madison. But a lot of times we go out and do errands and I have to pack her some snacks, so grabbed that for her. And then I found this in the checkout line. I thought it was so cute, so I grabbed this, and it just says Girl Boss. I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that and you can just write and it's like a little journal. So I just grabbed that and I think I'm gonna go back and get another one because I bought this one for myself, but I wanna get another one for my friend. So I'll probably go back and grab another one for my friend. Then I bought this flowers planter. I bought one of these last year, but it was just a different like size. So I decided to go with this one and I think I'm gonna put this one in my guest bedroom. I'm put a bunch of like pretty flowers in it and then just put it in there for decor. I wouldn't put it outside just because I feel like it would like rust and get dirty super quickly. So unless you put it like on your porch or something, but I don't know. I'm gonna leave this one in probably my guest bedroom. And then I also bought this really cute, it's like a mason jar kind of. And I just thought that was really pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll think of a DIY. I was thinking about maybe spray painting it and then like tying something like around here. I don't know, but I'll figure something out to do with this. I just thought it was really pretty. So grabbed that. And then I grabbed two of these. These are like lunch storage towers. That's what it's called, but I thought this would go perfect in Ryan's lunch box. And I actually bought one for him and then one for myself for when I'm like on the run and I wanna pack some snacks, but you just twist it open and it has two sides. So it has this side you can put some stuff in. It also has this side and then on the top, it has this little container where you can put like ranch or peanut butter or something and then put something in at the bottom. And I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed two of them. I grabbed this gray colored one and then this one's kind of like a navy blue one. And these are BPA free. So I thought that was really good. It says not recommended for use in microwave. So I don't know why you would put it in the microwave. It's also not dishwasher safe, which is fine. I'll just hand wash it, but it is BPA free, which I really like. So grab two of those. And then I found this also at the checkout line. I thought it was really cute. It's just a bracelet and it's a unicorn bracelet. And I picked this up for my friend's daughter because I thought she would think that was cute. So grabbed her that. And then I picked up two kitchen towels. I will be doing a 
DIY with this. So stay tuned. Once we get closer to like spring, I do plan on doing a DIY with these. So stay tuned for that. And then I found this. This is a silicone face mask applicator. So you just use this to apply your face mask so it won't get like underneath your nails or your hands don't get dirty. So I grabbed that. Then I also picked up just some cleaning gloves because your girl barely ever wears cleaning gloves. My hands are getting way too dry and they're super sensitive. So I just grabbed a pack of these hot pink ones. And then I grabbed two of these candles just because I thought the packaging was really pretty and it actually smells pretty good. I just don't know how well the scent um, payoff will be on this, but I thought it would be cute just for like decorations, maybe in the guest bathroom or I don't know, in my bedroom. So I grabbed two of those. They had other colors, but I decided to go with this color. And the last thing I picked up were these, and I do plan on doing a DIY with this. And to be completely honest, I don't know how it's gonna come out. It might end up being a fail, but I just really liked this. It says, follow your heart. So that's how it looks. Like I said, I am going to be trying to do a DIY with this. So we will see how that turns out. If it doesn't turn out good, then can't really complain. These were only a dollar. I only spent $2 on these, but hopefully it does. So, and that was the last item that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I purchased this time around from Dollar Tree. I will most likely be back soon just because I have to go back to Dollar Tree and also Target's dollar spot to get some stuff for Ryan's class for Valentine's. But whenever I do that, maybe I'll do another haul. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to do a haul on what items I decide to buy my son's class. I usually go to both Target and Dollar Tree when I buy stuff like that. So just let me know if you guys would like me to do another Dollar Tree haul once I do purchase those items. And as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.